guys I'm late again I promised yesterday I'm gonna start streaming around 7:30 or 8 my time here Chicago time but I failed again I had some stuff to do um, on OBS actually some settings on OBS and twitch with my channel so right now uh, we are ready to start I apologize again uh, it's 954 I'm planning to stream for uh, three hours maybe four hours today a longer stream than yesterday um, I started oh, already I started the, the new season season number six uh, last night I played a little bit on my own again managed to um, sign one more player and um, uh, I think yeah and I remember we played one game in the Champions League qualifier again the second knockout round in Champions League um, but yeah we're gonna get into that right now hopefully every everybody is well and you will enjoy the stream today hopefully the OBS will be okay no no issues let's uh, let's uh, dig in guys So um, we left it yesterday 
uh, before the Super Cup game against FCSB. We won 2-1. It was a it was okay game. We didn't struggle. We played our starting 11, uh, the starting 11 that we're planning to uh, to to line up for the whole uh, season, especially uh, in Champions League and uh, the tough games. And then uh, 2-1 in the opener of the Liga 1, we won against Petrolul and um, the first round of the, the second qualifying round actually, but the first game of this tie was against uh, Skandija. We won 5-0 away, I will show you right now all the goals. Um, yeah, last night I played a little bit on my own. Let's see here, the goal scorers, it was a very easy game. Besuijin with a corner and McGregor puts the first one in fifth minute another corner and Yon uh, scores his first goal of the season another corner Besuijin and an another goal by Yon this one was really good like, uh, hit the, the top post and went in and now Mamila with um, the fourth goal and another one all of them uh, came almost from uh, corners <laughs> Iona with a hat trick this game so five nothing before the halftime so uh, I guess we're gonna be able to qualify right now in the next round we're not gonna have any issues um, you know especially when we're gonna play at home uh, the returning leg. I don't think Skandija can um, overturn that uh, five nothing, and um, hopefully the in the next round we're gonna get um, a lucky draw. So this way, uh, if we if we qualify to the knockout uh, playoff for the for the Champions League, uh, we are even if we lose there, we're gonna be uh, directly in the Europa League group stage so hopefully hopefully guys we are gonna have a, a good um, good run in this European uh, competition let's uh, let's continue um, we're gonna play Uta in uh, one day we're gonna play Uta at home at Petrelli Bardi the new season simber, season number six um, of our save with Jules Petroshan in the Romanian top division I hope uh, you enjoy uh, this kind of saves uh, small teams rebuild them or build them in my case as um, as you all know or if you don't know this is my home city club if you're a new follower on my channel this is my home city club and uh, we're planning to um, to go all the way and try to win the Champions League. Thank you for uh, being here today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. I will update you right now with um, the new players that came in. If you didn't watch yesterday the stream, <coughs> we brought in um, the last player that joined it was Zabu um, Zabukovnik. Yes. Um, Slovenian international, 26 years old, 185 cm, powerful midfielder because his uh, main role, his main position is a defensive midfielder, but we are going to play him as a ball-playing defender because he is able to do that, he is able to play that position for us, and we actually really need, uh, you know, another strong defender. He will start, he will start for us. It was a very, uh, very good deal. Uh, not too expensive, 750k for a player that uh, has already five caps for Slovenia. Um, with that being said, um, as you remember, yesterday we, we uh, signed our most expensive player in the club history. We're talking about Gianfranco Ruge, or Ruge, I don't know how they uh, pronounce it in Colombia. But uh, he, is a, he is an amazing play player, especially 
uh, for our club stat stature. We are not a big club and um, at 19 years old, 185 CM and with all these attributes here, 17 technique, 13 passing, 14 first touch, 17 natural fitness, uh, 14 strength, 14 acceleration, pace 14, uh, you name it, is um, one of the, um, I, I guess, one of the best players or maybe the best player in uh, right now in the top Romanian uh, league. And in the future, he will become, definitely will become a world-class player. Along, uh, of course, along uh, Mamila, who we signed last season. He is on a bit of a uh, slow form right now. He's decreasing a little bit, but he's going to pick up uh, pretty soon because we are uh, going to start playing uh, a ton of games and uh, he's, uh, he's going to improve for sure. He already scored uh, in the first game or he didn't. He scored in, in the Champions League qualifiers, but um, in the league so far he didn't he will and um, probably this season he will um, you know compete for uh, the goal scorer award we uh, brought in yesterday James Kahn uh, we finalized a deal that uh, cost us three hundred twenty five thousand uh, dollars he played for Orlando Pirates in South Africa and uh, I think he has some caps for the under, yes, uh, 15 caps for the under 20s and one goal. And four caps for the national team, for the senior national team. Um, that is impressive. And he will be the backup for now on the wing, on the right wing back, right wing back <laughs> position. He will fight for his spot, of course, with uh, Valencia, who... Um, we uh, we signed him on a permanent basis right now. He was on loan last season, and uh, this season we uh, paid five hundred thousand his release clause, and he joined uh, for the next uh, three years, I believe. Let me check. Uh, yes, definitely three years. We gave him number three last season. Yonutz uh, Marin had um, his number. Right now he is a starter for us and uh, he has a competition, a good competition for his role. Um, on the left wing back uh, position we signed this uh, Hungarian kid, not so good. Uh, he, is, um, he is an international, under 20 Hungarian international. Uh, like I said, his uh, attributes are not looking too too good, but um, we need a backup, and um, especially in the Romanian league, uh, the games when um, we can afford to to play our backups, he will definitely play. He will uh, definitely help us, and he has some room to improve. Uh, 19 years old, 180. Um, I'm definitely uh, happy with this deal. He is a, a free loan from uh, Zeged, top division in Hungary. We'll see how this uh, loan is going to work. But Zalazar is our captain, the best player in our team and uh, our starting left wing back. Um, he is a very versatile player and uh, this uh, season we gave him the arm brand. He will be our uh, captain. Our vice captain is um, Valencia, I think. Yes, Valencia is our uh, our vice captain. His leadership, 16 on leadership, uh, is uh, something impressive here. So, yeah. Who else? Who else? I want to show you. Yes, and uh, Denis Hussein Basic, another strong midfielder. Uh, we were debating yesterday if we're gonna sign him or not. Well, we decided to do it. Uh, free transfer because his contract expired with FC uh, Köln from um, Germany. A lot of experience uh, in second Bundesliga, Zweite Bundesliga with official name. <coughs> Offenbach, um, lower divisions in Germany. Not a bad player, but uh, definitely a very, very useful player for us. 184 CM, 26 years old, one cap for Bosnia, for the Bosnian national team, and um, he will definitely 
also fight for his spot against, uh, I mean, him and McGregor will um, compete for uh, the starting um, box to box midfielder in our team. We decided to move Manta on the right. He is uh, our new starting winger on the right. And um, Rafik Guitan also will compete with him for this position. Without be saying, oh yeah, and Lotka, we uh, we sign a new goalie, very close to uh, Trnovanu. I think he is better, in my opinion, he is better than Trnovanu, but um, I don't know. Uh, they have uh, pretty much the same age, same skills. Trnovanu is, uh, in our coach's opinion, <clears throat> he is better, probably because of the one-on-one -on -one 16 and... Um, Lotka has only 12, so I guess that's the only difference because everything else is uh, looking better on Lotka's attributes here. So yeah, we will see. We will see. Uh, they will play a lot of games, so there's no no uh, reason to um, to worry about uh, these two guys. Mm. Oh yeah, Mpeke. This is the last player that we uh, we signed this summer. Not too many signings, though. Not too many signings. It's it's better to have balance in your team. Uh, 24 years old, Spanish striker. He has fairly strong left foot, right foot, very strong. Um, 168 CM, 24 year, year, uh, years old, like I said, and um, he played for Olympiacos. Um, not so much, but he, he was their player because, as you can see, only one appearance in um, the Greek Super League last year. We signed him, of course, we signed him for free and um, he will be the backup to Ion because Ion is on fire right now. He is killing it, especially in the Champions League hat-trick in Champions League and he also scored one goal already against Petrolul in Liga 1 in the Superliga so this is how we're gonna line up for um, for this season we didn't make major improvements but for sure uh, we look better than last season and um, as um, as we remember last season we reached the semi-final of Conference League well, the biggest achievement of our club um, very proud of w uh, what we did with Jiul. Um and since I started playing football manager uh, I think uh, with a small club like this is the biggest biggest achievement because uh, we managed to do it pre uh, relatively early in the save so it's like s five years into the save we managed with a small club to reach the one of the latest stages in uh, the third competition in Europe so with a with a team that um, didn't um, deserve to, to to reach that far but somehow we did it so second time league champions everything is going great we are on the right track so let's press continue this is um, this was the update until this moment until uh, uh, where are we at July 2027 24 July 2027 I, th I hope everybody is well I hope um, um, you are gonna enjoy the stream today we are gonna play um, some games in Champions League today, very important games, and uh, also in Liga One. Uta Arad uh, is gonna be our uh, opponent for the second game in Romanian top division, season number six.
yes, we made an offer for this central defender from Barcelona. So Adeline Yorga is a Romanian um, under 18 central defender. We made an offer for a loan for uh, two years for free. We didn't uh, check the stats. We didn't check the attributes because we can't. We didn't even scout. But um, from from what I've seen there, he's an under 18 uh, Romanian international. So let's... Uh, we have nothing to lose. Let's um, let's do this deal, and hopefully he will be a backup for the central defender position. He's not that tall, but we need bodies because we're gonna have a lot of games this season, and uh, he will definitely get some playing time. And if he's not good enough to play for us, we're gonna move in uh, to the second team, to the um, youngsters under 19s, and. Uh, yeah it's uh it's a free free transfer see like could improve a lot but right now he is uh let's see his skills oh i'm sorry i am really sorry this guy looks unbelievable for his age and especially for romanian first league this guy is insane yes he will definitely play <laughs> 16 technique this guy is a borderline wonder kid and we got him for two years without even checking any attribute nothing wow ball playing defender defend this is what we play uh let's give him a number uh number well you like number five but number five is taken, so we'll give you 55. Number 55 for Adeline Yorga, loaned from the mighty Barcelona. Definitely he will play um, a lot of games. And we have 26 players for this season. We couldn't register Goran Zivkovic uh, for the league. He will be able to play for us only in the um, uh, UEFA Champions League qualifiers. If we qualify to the group stage or lower competitions, uh, Europa League or uh, Conference League. So I don't think he is going to improve anymore. He's actually decreasing his skills and he is a foreigner. He's a Serbian. They don't uh, count as uh, um, Europeans. Um, so uh, he will um, he will not play too many games. In Actually, he not, he's not going to play at all in the league, in the Romanian first league to, uh, this, uh, this season. But he will uh, definitely get some playing time in Europe. Before uh, before we're playing Uta, we are gonna check the training ratings as usual. We are ready, and we're gonna put uh, anybody who needs to be put on additional training. Uh, we're gonna also take care of that. Okay, praise. Boy, you know, he trained really well. Manta as always one of the top players McGregor we had some uh, offers for Manta but we turned him down Fecha Sebe was sniffing around with one million and a half like seriously if you really want him you have to really pay like I uh, I over asked of course of course for 7.5 million and uh, as you can expect <laughs> They uh, they can't afford him. They can't afford paying that price. And if they will pay seven point uh, seven point five million, then I will sell for that price. I would definitely sell. Okay. 
Mamira. Okay. I guess I'm not gonna go lower than 720. And I have to criticize who's not training well. Okay, this guy is really... Whatever. Okay, let's put anybody who needs to be put on additional training. Besuije, no. Sorin Manta, no. McGregor, no. Nedelku, no. Valencia, Peque, uh, final third. Baltario, Turnovanu, Nguni, Tursha, Salazar, Lo, uh, Lotka, Gitan, Dobre, Mandla Duma, attacking movement. Volent, Zubovnik, Mamila, Eduard Luka, Kurjan, Raul Yon. Uh, Raul Yon is not training well. <laughs> uh, quickness. James Khan, Zivkovic, Adelin Yorga. Okay, because he just signed, so. But yeah, this guy is really, really good for his age. He will become one of the top players. Not that tall. Maybe we can actually even buy him. But he will definitely get some playing time. Man. The mental are okay. The attributes for his mental, the for his mentals, but f uh, technical and physical are impressive. Are impressive, and like I said, is uh, this uh, is a free loan for two years. He will play a lot, especially in the Romanian first league. Okay, Gabor Volent. Gabor Volent, yes. Turnovano. Uh, he is wanted by Molde and Odds. Okay. Gitan also wanted by Standard Liege. And uh, Manta, of course, by Norgeland right now. Hmm. If they pay 7.5, I will sell. Definitely sell. Okay, we're ready to start the game against uh, Uta at home. Um, we're going to play the starters because uh, we have an advantage of five goals against um, Skendija. And against Skendija, we'll play backups. Uh, so they get a feel also of the European uh, uh, football. So yeah, let's start. Hopefully, we're going to get the three points. We already have um, one against Petrolul. So we have a decent start of the season. Well, uh, we won uh, the first Romanian Super Cup in our history. So another trophy for Jules Petroșani. Let's start. Twenty seconds in, uh, I didn't say anything because I thought this is just uh, the first highlight of the game. As usual, nothing happens, but uh, actually, it happened. Twenty mi twenty seconds in, and Mamila scored um, from uh, chance created on the left here. Besuijen cuts inside as usual and passes in front of um, in front of the goal there. Mamila with a beautiful tap in one nothing for Jiul really really early in the game the Suijin with a corner <laughs> ah, 2 nothing. Ion uh, another another header he is really really uh, scoring a lot of goals with uh, with uh, with headers he has his tall and his jumping which is 16 
his strength is 17, I think. Pressing forward that we scouted uh, in the second division of Romania at Poli Timisoara and we decided to pull the trigger and uh, sign him. Another corner, Besuijen. Another header by Jon, or no? Zabukovnik, Ruge, Baltario, Zabukovnik, and uh, a shot over the goal. McGregor passing to Besujin, Besujin to Ruge. Valencia trying to cross, gets uh, it's blocked. Zalazar, McGregor, Ruge. Mamila, but blocked again. Manta. McGregor, beautiful pass there in the center to Mamila. Another block shot. Almost half time. Two nothing at the break. Brilliant. Keep going. Comfortable um, game so far. Ruge, long pass there, but to nowhere. Dinka, their goalie, uh, steps in and gets it. They're actually last. Right now, Uta in the league. Mamila. Solo run on the left. He turns, tries to cross. Uh, the ball is at Zalazar right now. Crosses it. We'll get McGregor. We're controlling the ball. We're controlling the uh, the game. Another pass, that's an offside. Mamila was offside. Nice finish, but offside. Wow, it was an offside. I thought it's a clear, clear uh, offside position. Let's uh, check it again. But nice, nice goal. Mamila again on the score sheet. Yeah, that was weird. Nice. Mamila is starting to to score goals for us um, as we expected. Mm, yep, it wasn't. It was really tight, but it wasn't an offside. 3 nothing for Jul. Comfortable, comfortable uh, game. And in front of our own fans at Petra Libardi Stadium. Otele. Uta is trying to, to come back, is trying to create something, but we are too strong for, for them today. Jon McGregor is going to pass to Besuijen on the left. And another blocked shot, 50 minutes in, 3 nothing.
dragul. Hotele. Uta is gonna score. Uh, Postolaki scores uh, the first goal of the game for Uta. The Moldovan striker with a beautiful finish uh, from the inside of the penalty box. Um, it's okay. I mean, you can't have uh, always a perfect game. We just need to make sure we're not gonna allow one more. And Maxim here, our player, the player actually, the wing back, wing um, wing back who played for us as a backup last season, Kindrich almost scored the second. Uta is trying, uh, is forcing a comeback here. Nothing happens. Soon we're gonna give uh, the debut to the new uh, central defender that uh, we loan from Barcelona. A few more minutes, and he will uh, he will get in the game. Baltario, a pass, nice pass to Jon, and uh, side side uh, ball. Zubovnik. Zubovnik or I gotta double check his name is really really hard to pronounce uh, his name the Slovenian central defender Valencia oh Valencia got injured we will make a change right now and Otele misses this opportunity to score the second goal for Uta so um, let's see yep we're gonna change Valencia. He is injured. I hope it's not a long-term injury. Khan is gonna take his place. Uh, and then Boltariu um, with Luka. Zabukovnik, Adeline Yorga. We'll give a face to Yorga um, soon. For tomorrow's or next stream, whenever I'm gonna stream next, um, Yorga will have a face. And uh, who else? I'm gonna sub. Tired Zalazar, we're gonna give uh, Volant some playing time too. Sorin Manta is uh, having an okay game. So let's see, Gitan. Yeah, Gitan. Yep. That's it. We have already 3-1, so we're not afraid uh, of this game. We are going to win. We need some fresh legs there. Volant. Jorga. Besujen. Luka. Yorga, a long pass to Rafik Gitan. And uh, we won it in the box. Almost. Uh, Yon uh, almost scored his second goal. He just uh, wasted that uh, great opportunity. But we can be mad at him. He, uh, he is having... Um, he is having... A great great game today and um, overall his form is impressive one last corner 3-1 uh, for Jiul in the 95th minute Rafi Guitan Jorga 
Passing back to Khan. Khan is gonna find Ruge on the right. He's trying to cut inside. Crosses it. Back to Gritan and game over guys. Uh, win. Easy win. Three points for Jiul at Petra Libardi. Can't complain. Uh, we dominated the game and uh, six points from uh, the first two games in the league. Perfect start of the season. Good balance in our squad. We are sitting second right now. Mioven again. Mioven has <laughs> they have a very good start of the season, like last season. But uh, in the end, they finished. I don't know. They finished in the uh, middle of the league standings, or actually even lower. So they all always start really, really strong, and then slowly. They uh, they go down. Jose Valencia bruised ankle. Okay, not that bad. One to three days. Besuijen with three assists. Two assists. I'm sorry. And let's praise Mamila for his uh, his goals. Two goals. Superb. And um, Raul Leon also. Another goal in the league. Another header. So as you, we can see here, 16 jumping reach, 17 strength, 16 heading. So this guy, even though his finishing is not looking too good, but everything else, it looks amazing. And he's 19 years old. I'm surprised that he doesn't have uh, any caps for the first uh, Romanian national team. He is capped uh, for the under 21s, four caps, two goals. There's the press, uh, press conference. Really quick. We will register Yorga for the next uh, qualifying round. Definitely, uh, we need to register him. Let's see here. 680 in his first appearance as a backup in the Romanian First League. Not bad. But I like this right here. Four stars. He can go to five stars. Only Baltario has the same potential. And Baltario is amazing already. He's 19. But... Um, Yorga, Yorga is 17 years old. 14 jumping reach, 182, not bad. 16 balance, 16 technique, wow. 15 bravery, 15 determination. So yeah, he's uh, he started with Barcelona, impressive. He has probably his Spanish uh, citizenship too. Nope, just Romanian. Hmm. Actually, let me give him a face right now. Let's uh, let's give him a face right now. I'm too excited. <laughs> uh, it's gonna take a little bit, guys. Gotta go into my computer files here. Desktop. Chill moves. Face back. Okay. So he has dark hair. I need to find a face. That's gonna match. Okay, let me double check. All right. I can't play the game if I don't have all my players with face, with a, like an actual uh, human face. <laughs> it's just. It doesn't look 
real to me. I need to have that experience, you know. It's weird, yeah. Some some people don't care. I need to find a dark hair guy. I have like a whole folder with uh, thousands of um, fake human faces generated by a computer and I downloaded this um, this pack from a Zealand um, account, the American streamer. <clears throat> he has an account on FM Base Co. UK. That's, um, that's the website uh, where he had this um, folder with faces I downloaded via... Uh, torrent, beat torrent, but that was a few years ago, uh, I think three years ago, and um, you can choose here every, any uh, face you want, they have tons, tons of choices, uh, with all kinds of uh, hair colors and ethnicity and all that, so... Just need to find the right guy. I think we found him. Let me just double check really quick his face again. Uh, Yorga. Okay. And now we need to see his info ID 423995 423995 Save mm -hmm. That's it, that's it, that's all you have to do, one minute will not kill, kill us, you know, it's a problem when you, when you sign four or five regions in, in one stream or in one day and then you have to search and look for, for faces for all of them, it takes a little bit of time but for just one player it's, uh, it's not that bad, and my back is killing me again. I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Another cold day here in uh, in my area and in, in the Chicago area. Not snowing today, but it is really cold. I'm lucky to be inside and not. Uh, not have to go to work or somewhere where you like you're gonna freeze there's some people who are working construction and uh, I feel feel sorry for for those guys they're doing an incredible job on this like severe circumstances like there's so many people especially Europeans 
who are working in, in construction in my in my uh, city and uh, yeah it's a it's a horrible horrible <laughs> horrible um, job to do in the winter we're waiting for the game to process uh, the new phase for Yorga and we will continue with um, our game against Kendija in the UEFA Champions League second qualifying round second leg we have an advantage of five goals and um, we're gonna play the backups for this one this way we're gonna be able to rest our starters for the next challenge in this competition we are aiming today to go deep and uh, hopefully we can reach the playoff and even though we're not going to be able to qualify in the group stage at least for sure by qualifying to the playoff of the UEFA Champions League you will be able to um, to go down to the Europa League group stage and um, just for qualifying to the Europa League group stage you will get a minimum of six million dollars um, prize um, and um, th that's gonna be very very good for our um, plan to improve the squad to to buy new players especially uh, if our chairman will give us money in the uh, winter transfer window we uh, don't need to upgrade anything right now maybe maybe again the youth facilities I have to double check but everything that we um, that we have right now is um, is decent for the level we are. So we have the undersoil installed already. Our stadium is in decent condition. When we um, when we signed and we started this save with Gilles Petrosian. The facilities were like really poor. The stadium condition was poor. We didn't have undersoil heating. Um, we had to invest some money in the uh, infrastructure. This uh, this day we are two times champions of Romania and semi-finalists of the Conference League. Just uh, five years in, so it is impressive. It is impressing. Uh, we are planning to continue. And uh, this season we will push for the Champions League. This is our main target this season. And I believe we have definitely we have um, a strong, strong chance to get into the group stage. Which, uh, as you already know, and I already told you, uh, qualifying into the group stage of the Champions League will definitely improve the finances um, right away. $40 million uh, directly deposited into your bank account into the club's uh, bank account so it will be a dream come true and we will be able to sign the wonder kids that we need and we are craving for to um, to get this club to the next level so let's see right now the face for Yorga there you go Adeline Yorga with a new face um, 182 cm 17 years old 71 kilograms uh, under she is uh, under 21 um, international uh, it doesn't show it yet here but uh, I found him by uh, looking at the under 21 national team Romania national team and uh, we, we, uh, we were able to make a move for him and seal the deal for two years loan The only position that we had, um, that we were worried that we don't have enough players um, for the season was the central defender position. And right now we are good with this guy. Let's uh, start a press conference and welcome him. He's a quality player and it means a lot that he wanted to come here. I have the utmost confidence that Adeline will come up big for the club when needed. I am confident that it will be enormous boost for the whole team. We wanted to, we wanted the option to make it permanent because we know how good of a player he is, and I'd be happy if it all came together. 
no comment here. Adeline Yorga and Jose Valencia will draw very similar comparisons. Are you prepared for the competition for places between them now? They're both outstanding players and I fully intend for them to play together. Why wouldn't I? Okay. Done. Three more days and we are gonna play at home uh, in the UEFA Champions League qualifying round, second qualifying round in front of our own fans. We're gonna host Skandija. We are very, uh, very close to um, one hour of, a, of our stream, in our stream, 58 minutes right now. Uh, we are playing to stream from uh, four, not from, we are uh, planning to stream for three hours, maybe even more than that. It was a fun stream yesterday because I always, always enjoy signing players, looking for players, having a little money to improve the, the squad. And uh, we did it yesterday, three hours uh, stream. We had some technical issues again yesterday with the OBS, but um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beginning for me in this kind of business <laughs> the streaming business if you can call it that all right we are getting closer and closer and after Scandija we're gonna travel to Sepsi so in uh, in that game we're gonna play again the starters, and we are hoping for another easy three points because the level of our team this season improved a lot, and uh, we are looking strong. When we line up our first eleven, we are looking really strong, as we should. You know, we're six years in to the save, so. I mean, if you don't improve your team by playing uh, six seasons, then uh, you have a problem. So yeah, the only disappointment for, for me in this save is that we still didn't manage to qualify to Champions League yet, to the Champions League group stage. We failed last season. Uh, in uh, two, uh, FM 22 last year, um, I played a different Romanian team. <clears throat> Same thing, I took them um, from the second division. But after four years, we already qualified to Champions League group stage. And and uh, in the first year of playing in the Champions League, we managed to qualify from the group stage to the first knockout round, which was unbelievable. Uh, getting 40 million dollars and on top of that um, playing at uh, at a high level with a team that didn't we didn't have any business being there especially in the um, the first knockout round uh, having a group I think our group was with the Red Bull Leipzig Sevilla and Manchester City and uh, we qualified second in that group and we got knocked out by, uh, I think it was Real Madrid or Juventus. But yeah, that was unbelievable. So yeah, this year we qualified uh, to the semi-final of Conference League. Last year with a different team, a big, uh, big overachievement also. So yeah, fun, fun times.
The side will take nothing for granted. I would say that we have an excellent chance. We know what we're capable capable of. So if you drop uh, by um, my stream, if you like what you see, just uh, follow. And then uh, when I'm gonna be next time online, uh, you will get notified. If you don't like, it's not a problem. I'm uh, I'm just starting. Uh, I need to learn. Like I said many many times, I repeated myself already so many times, but I have to do it again for the new new viewers. Um, yeah, um, I need to I need to improve in this kind of streaming uh, business you know because you can you can actually call it a business some people are making money out of this and I'm honestly I'm not here for the money but you know I'm trying to learn from the best streamers and I am aware that to be to be a very success successful streamer you have to be entertaining this is this is the main um, the main thing if you're not entertaining, if you're boring, or if you, like me, for example, that's my big uh, uh, problem, is that, you know, I'm struggling with my English, and um, I have to think in Romanian before I speak in English, and that's why I make these long pauses, like, uh, 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 you know, because I need to double check what I'm, what I'm trying to say before I say it, so, yeah. It's not easy for foreigners to, to get a lot of views or a lot of uh, followers. But, yeah, I mean, you have to give it a try. Let's try to loan this guy. He is decent, but of course, Stiawa will over ask, overcharge. He is good. 18 years old, striker. So my favorite streamer is definitely Zealand, who probably you know who it is, um, streaming football manager for so many years now, and uh, this is how I learned uh, a lot of stuff by watching him. Every time when I was uh, playing on my own the game, I was uh, having him in the background uh, with playing his saves, and he has every year he has uh, this type of save. Um, he's taking charge of a very small club. And then he is um, trying to win the Champions League with it. So last year, last uh, year FM22, he was uh, with the Austrian uh, second division team of Flores Dorfers. Um, and I think he didn't win the Champions League. Um, he reached the uh, quarterfinals from what I remember, but I don't think he, he, um, he, he won it. He had a other save in FM21 with um, Oriental Dragon, a team, uh, a small team from um, the lower divisions in Portugal. Fun save. Uh, I watched it. Uh, I think from the beginning to the end. Also, he failed to win the Champions League, but he got really close to. He got to the semis. So yeah, like having you know managing a club from like the third or fourth division in Portugal taking it to the top it's really hard it's really really hard and, and that's why I like Zealand streams because he's very entertaining you learn a lot from from his streams he, you learn a lot from the way he plays the game and especially for the beginners in this uh, for football manager uh, players beginner players uh, they they uh, they can learn a lot of stuff by watching Zealand streams I think he streams like daily or if not like three four times per week for sure and he has longer streams than mine like four or five hours sometimes even six hours so yeah but yeah I, I think you know him I'm just uh, referring to people that actually don't know about Zealand yeah this guy is really good let's full, fully scout him for the future right now he's playing for Monaco now let's try to loan him. We don't have any money left, but uh, a free loan, and it's not free. A free loan will always be helpful. 
This guy is unbelievable. Playing for Mainz, 16 years old, Sean Bembic. Look at that. <laughs> uh, let's change the music a little bit. Let's not fall asleep here. Game time. Let's uh, line up our backups for this game. Eduard Luka, Goran Zivkovic, James Kahn, Hussein Basic, Turnovano, Kurjan, Pesujen. Uh, no. Um, oh, yeah, that guy is injured. Oh no, Guitan is not injured, sorry. So Guitan, Peke, Tursha, Manta. Oh, um, Guni is not registered, so. Kurjan. Uh, we're gonna leave Mamila in, I guess. Yeah, this is how we're gonna start this game. Oh yeah, we have to take out. Uh, we have 12 subs available for Europe. Yeah. So you have to take them out if they're not registered in order for you to proceed to the game. Second leg against Kandija at home in the Champions League qualifiers, second qualifying round. I am uh, definitely uh, not worried about this game, that's why we're playing the backups. started the game we are already uh, dominating the possession Zivkovic passing to Guitan solo run on the right wing looking for a cross the ball gets deflected and uh, header from Hussein Basic but outside the bounds Guitan with a free kick and Michevsky saves it Nice save there. Rafik Vitan with a corner. Luka tried to, to score there, but he was marked really, really tight by the Skandija central defender. Passing to Tursha. Tursha is switching to Luka. Luka. 
Zalazar, Zalazar passing to Kurjan, Hussein Basic to Peke and uh, gets a shot that was blocked by the goalie. Gitan with another corner. The aggregate score is 5 0. Tursha to Zivkovic, but uh, way, way over the goal. Khan. Zivkovic. Luka. We're losing the ball there in the middle and Kandija has a chance right now to score, but a very, very bad shot there by Dokic. Three thousand one hundred eighty-seven fans are attending the game uh, today. Twenty-six degrees, a breezy day in Petroshania, a Champions League uh, night. Historic, historic uh, events here in Petroshania. The Juventus of Romania is uh, starting to attack on the left wing. Pass to Pekwe. Pekwe one on one with the goalie, and we uh, we score one nothing in front of our fans. Jules Petroshani is um, scoring the first goal of this tie. The second tie. Beautiful, beautiful goal by Peke. A little lucky there, but still it's a goal. And the aggregate score right now is six nothing. Nothing can stop us right now for, from qualifying to uh, the next round, which will be the third knockout round. Third qualifying round, not knockout. Third qualifying round of the UEFA Champions League. If we uh, if we get knocked out from the third qualifying round, we will uh, play the playoff uh, for the Conference League. And I hate playing again in Conference League. I mean, it's a decent competition, but I think we're beyond that right now. I think we can push for a better, better level. And uh, it all depends who we're going to get in the next round. This is uh, really, really important. We need to be lucky to get a good, uh, good draw, like an accessible team, a team that uh, will not create us problems. And then if we play the playoff, the Champions League playoff, then uh, we will for sure play in the Europa League group stage. So let's go. Zalazar on the left, 43 minutes into the first half. Beautiful cross. Blocked, somebody's injured from my team. Rafik Guitan and 2 nothing. What a beautiful goal. Rafik Guitan, a quality player who proves again in, in front of the fans that he is, a, he is a talented, talented inverted winger. So Zalazar again with uh, a cross that was blocked and then Hussein Basic passes it to Guitan who finishes it in style. 2 nothing before the halftime. Let's uh, double check here who um, who needs to be subbed. Brilliant. But let's double check. Okay, so Zalazar 6-5. He will be subbed because I need him in the league. So we'll give uh, Luca. will be on the bench. Boltario will get in. Oh yeah, Mamila is injured, so Raul Ion will get his spot. And then Luca 6-5, Alin Tursha, yep, everybody is ready for the second half. <coughs>
Kurjan. Uh, offside, I think. Yeah. We're moving the ball pretty well this game. The same Basic, our new signing, passing to Baltario. Kurjan, passing to Peke. Peke trying to score his first, I mean, his second goal this game, but post was a good shot. Hussein Basic again, but offside. Nope, not offside. Yes, offside. Thank you. Ten shots to five. Sixty-four ball possession compared to thirty-five. Zivkovic. He's happy to play because he can play only in the European competitions for us. He is not registered for the Liga One in his last year playing for Giu. And another goal by Peke with a beautiful cross by Gitan. What a quality player, Gitan. If we sell Manta, Gitan is going to be our starter again, but look at this. This is the way we should play football. Rafi Gitan on the right wing there, passing to Peke, who has a very, very easy job there just to tap it in. 3-0, 8 nothing. the aggregate score between the teams. Easy qualifying round for us. And we're not going to stop, we're going to keep pushing here. Tursha with a beautiful pass through Kurjan uh, and Yon Post. Uh, dangerous, dangerous chance there. But um, we failed to score the fourth one. Almost uh, reaching the 70th minute of the game. Hamdiou. Ha! <laughs> Turnovano saves it, but that was uh, that was interesting. Solo run there for the striker. Gitan passing to Yon on the right side post again come on Kurjan crosses it again to Yon and again he fails to score with a header this time what a what a crazy crazy uh, player he is like the skills his physicals are just through the roof this season Kurjan passing to Gitan. Gitan. Kurjan again cuts inside also. But uh, weak shot. Ion. Gitan. Offside. Nope. Actually, let's see, let's see, yes, offside. <laughs> it looked like offside and it was, but it was a late call. Khan, Tursha, Boltario, Hussein Basic. It's such a good feeling when you have all your players playing on the right position. Like sometimes I have saves when uh, I, I need to play players uh, on a 
weird position or role just to fit them into the squad or into the tactic but this uh, this save here the way I set up my team along the seasons uh, allows me right now to play everyone on their preferred role and position and another chance here uh, for Peke with two goals two goals uh, against Kandija in this game we're reaching the end of this game let's make a few more subs we have only two we'll uh, play Mandla Duma uh, Zivkovic 6.5 6 we'll play Zabukovnik and Sorin Manta will take Guitan's spot for the remaining of the game. Six more minutes from the regular time. Guitan Tursha Yon cuts inside with his left right now, but very, very uh, poor finishing there. Corner. Hussein Basic again. Manta. Ooh, what a shot. Curved shot from over 30 meters there from Manta. Ninety first minute, ninety second minute actually. This microphone is not stable here. <clears throat> Luca Khan and uh, full time 3 0 for Gio Petrosciani at Petra Libardi, and we are advancing to the next round in the UEFA Champions League. Everybody's happy. As expected, we had no no problems uh, in this game. Eight nothing aggregate. We received almost one hundred thousand dollars. Attend press conference. It's a brilliant feeling. Okay, my OBS is again having issues, but at least it didn't freeze. The thing that OBS does, uh, it shows here on my um, on my phone. While I stream, I have the phone next to me, and I can see the activity, and I can see when I have issues with uh, with the app. So basically, it resets the time, and uh, it kicks uh, kicks the viewer. Or the viewers off from what I see here and then um, it restarts the time so uh, after I finish the stream if I go to my profile my twitch profile I see that um, the stream is um, separated in three or four videos so I'm not sure why it does that why it doesn't have like a com like a complete only one um, video file for the for the stream i'm not sure why uh but yeah this is what it does and i try to install obs and reinstall to the latest version and it still does the same thing so i guess this is not uh, a problem only for me i guess a lot of streamers have this problem so but as long as you can come back and re-watch the stream it's okay it's um uh, like i always say it is what it is you just have to go with the flow and I apologize again so we're two hour, uh, we're an hour and hold on it's 11 14 it's over an hour of streaming or an hour and 20 minutes actually uh, guys I'll be right back I'm gonna use the the bathroom and then uh, I'll be right back in a few minutes stay tuned
I'll be right back. All right, we are back, guys. Thank you for for waiting. Let's continue. Two more days, and then we're gonna play at Sepsi in the Romanian league. Okay, so we're gonna play Apoel in the uh, third qualifying round. So definitely we're gonna play the backups against uh, Sepsi. Vito Jurica, not interested. We're gonna keep the same team for this game against uh, Sepsi. And uh, the first game of this tie against Apoel will be played at Petra Libardi, our stadium. Let's um, register the players. Ma maximum of zero replacements, so... Yeah, com just confirm it here. All right. Nadelko replace Manta in the on the bench. Lotka will play. And definitely, we're gonna put Mguni because uh, Mamila is injured, but not for long. Okay, so he's gonna co come back imminently. Mm. Oh, yes, and uh, Volant.
Okay, uh, I need to... Great Garbage Region. And Yoni is gonna be on the bench. Zivkovic is not registered, okay. Yorga, of course. Yorga will play. Yeah, I'll leave it like this. We will uh, check the training ratings for each player individually. Praise whoever over trained, <laughs> whoever trained well this week, and criticize, of course, uh, the ones that didn't. And then we'll try to get the three points away at Sepsi, continuing our uh, our perfect run in the Romanian First League this season. Sepsi is currently sitting on the sixth place, uh, currently in the league. Of course, it's uh, too early to say, but uh, for now, they don't have a bad start. Pedro Duarte, very, very good. He's available for loan, of course, but he's not uh, interested in joining and for sure we don't have the money. Yeah, 1.5 million for one season. I'm gonna try to check up well a little bit and see uh, <clears throat> what kind of players they have.
to the relic soy acknowledge not interested not interested not interested Nice stadium. Apoel Nicosia. Champions of Cyprus. This is the stadium where we're going to play the second leg of this tie. Their uh, estimated value of their squad is 20 million almost 21 million let's see what kind of players they have hmm. they have a, a limited squad here This is their key player, Grigoris Castanos. 86 caps for the national team. Not bad, but I, th I believe that uh, we have the edge. I think we can uh, definitely qualify. From what I'm seeing here, um, yeah, they don't have enough talent to win. I'm really, really confident. But yeah, before we proceed with the game against Sepsi, let's check again training ratings. So this is uh, my 10th consecutive stream ever and I compared yesterday each one of them <clears throat> and I think I improved a little bit at least uh, I improved the graphics and the overlays and all that which makes me happy and gives me a good feeling about it even though I don't have too many viewer viewers or followers is just uh it's 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 good to see that uh you learn you learn um a thing or two every day and this way in the future you can uh have a nice channel okay i went too low i went to 715 but whatever uh, 640 Kurjan. Hmm. I'm not sure why I can't criticize Zivkovic 670. He didn't train that bad. Movement, attacking movement. This guy. Manta crossing. McGregor endurance. Turnovano, Nedelko, Zalazar, Endurance, Stefan Dobre, Angoni, Lotka, Peke, Tursha, Gitan, Yorga, Improve his strength, Mandla Duma, James Khan, Gabor Volant, Mamila, Shooting Hussein Basic strength Edward Luca passing Zabukovnik Zivkovic Kurjan attacking movement 
All right, that is it. Let's start the game. Playing the backups again, uh, everybody is uh, fit. Some players, like this guy, Hussein Basic, is not totally fit. He's 86, but it doesn't matter. He's, uh, he's good. He's good for this game. And um, we are confident we can get the win at Sepsi. Let's go. We're gonna play in yellow against uh, Sepsi today. Kurjan. Interesting pass there to Nguni, but he didn't reach the ball in the end. Hussein Basic. Gitan. Gitan. Left foot. Oh! Very, very powerful shot. Almost went in the top corner, left top corner of the goal. Gitan with the corner. Peke too short. Too short to. Uh, to try for a header. Nguni. Passing to Nguni. Oh, poor finishing. Guitan uh, pass to Nguni there. Genius pass, but... He failed, he failed miserably to put it in from a close range. And now Sepsi is trying to build something on the left wing. Gheorghe Gania um, almost scored the goal, the opener for Sepsi, but um, Jorga blocks. Uh, or Luca, I think. Luca blocked him there. Yeah, it was Luca. Now, Dikan Peke is pressuring him. Molnar, he played for us last season. The left, uh, left back. We are not doing too well. This, uh, this first half at Sepsi. Svuntu Gheorghe. Kurjan Tursha Khan passes it, a risky pass there in the middle, but we managed to get the ball back. Yorga now passing to Hussein Basic. Hussein Basic loses the ball. He tried to find Volant, but Volant um, was not uh, not uh, in the right position there to receive the ball Peke, Peke has a chance to build an attack passes to Mguni, Mguni is not offside Mguni with his left foot but uh, another poor finishing there he took the shot but too late and uh, he gave a chance to the defender to catch him and block the shot not a corner for us Ah, come on guys, don't don't force me to put the, the starters here, like, seriously. We need a goal, we need a goal so we can uh, cement our position in the league. Ah, half time. Keep going, or... I don't like what I saw from the team. There you go. And um, Guni will, will be subbed. But who are we going to start as a striker? Mm, man, man, man. 
So Besuijin can play striker too. Not that good, but he can do it. Mandla Duma too, but finishing really poor finishing for him. Raul Leon will sub Mguni to Raul uh, with Raul Leon, and then we're gonna sub Volant with Zalazar. Volant has a yellow. Otherwise, I would have left him in. Even if we drop points here, I'm still okay. Uh, we need to keep everybody from the starting 11 um, rested and fresh for the next uh, next game. Khan. Long pass there to find Gitan, but way too long. And Kozma, former central defender that played for us, uh, gets to the ball. I don't even want to start attacking. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. I'm going to keep uh, with a positive mentality here. Tursha. Long pass there. And Yon uh, is going to get to the... Nope, he didn't get to the ball. The thing that Yon doesn't have is speed. He's too tall. But he has other attributes that makes him a very good striker. Actually, a pressing forward. Don't make a penalty. Good. So Yorga is a smart player. Just puts pressure enough to to uh, make uh, the Sepsi player uncomfortable on the ball. And we managed to survive this one and not uh, uh, not allow a goal. Lotka, happy to sign for Jiul for just $51,000, guys. We signed uh, Lotka. Kabuz. Puts the, uh, the ball in play again. Korbu. Korbu on the right. Uh, you know. <laughs> again, blocked. Uh, I'm starting to speak Romanian a little bit when I don't pay attention. And I'm too too uh, focused on, on the game. Sometimes I, I start to, to speak Romanian too. Yorga. Tursha. Khan. Finds Yon in the center and Yon. <laughs> uh, you can't you can't ask for a better finishing than this one. A volley shot from a genius pass. Khan with a genius pass. Just watch the replay again, guys. Look at Khan with a beautiful, beautiful assist here and Yon with the left foot. Powerful shot. In and the net is shaken from uh, from uh, his finishing. Um, still, I'm not worried. Uh, Sepsi is dominating a little bit the possession here, but we managed to find the net, and uh, even if we tie this one, it's okay. It's just the beginning of the season. We have so many games left in. Uh, Deaconu, Ronaldo Deaconu, and uh, side, side, uh, side shot. Sixty-two minutes already passed from this game. Zalazar, nice pass to Yon. Yon on the right wing. Pass it back in the center, but we get um, dispossessed. And now Jorge, Jorge on the on the wing, cuts inside, but Lotka saves it with a heroic, heroic jump there. Oh man! But that, that was a nice shot. We have uh, we have uh, Pekka with 6.4 rating, but uh, we're winning, so I'm gonna just let him finish the game. Not a cross there, 
Diakonu and 1-1 one, one with a crazy finish. They managed to they managed to score this one. After so many tries, Sepsi ties the game at one and um, I'm gonna have to demand more from the players and probably start attacking now. Because uh, we have uh, 15 le minutes left from this game and we need to get the win. Somebody's 6.3 right now. Dub Schnuder and David007. Thank you for following, guys. Uh, yes, I'm playing in Romania. This is a uh, this is the Romanian first league, the sixth season of uh, of my save, David. Uh, I took the team from the second division in Romania. This is my home city club, and uh, you're Romanian. Well, let's let's continue speaking in Romanian because this is an uh, English language chat but thank you for following yeah I took uh, to my home city club from the second division and uh, we promoted to the first to the first league and uh, we're very close to qualifying into the Champions League group stage And game over. We tied at Sepsi. We didn't manage to win this one, but um, we played only the backups, as you can see. No damage done. Uh, we are ready to play Upwell in the third qualifying round of the UEFA Champions League this season. Uh, we weren't good enough. We must improve. Yes, I will check for you, Rapid. Um, yeah, six years in. Let's see. Superliga. Rapid is currently four, but uh, just three games um, into the season. So, and I didn't update the stadium. I have to update the stadium picture here. They still have, uh, I think they still have Saponaru, or not. I think he retired? Let me see. Oh, that's the head coach. He is the head coach right now. Saponaru is the head coach. So they they said they still have Antonio Sefer, Chobanu. A lot of uh, players are still there. <laughs> yeah, Saponaru is the coach, yep. Yeah. They have Virgil Gitsa. They uh, probably got him from Poland because in real life he plays in Poland. Radu Negru. Mm, they have a lot of regions. Paul Jakob is still there. Susak. This guy used to be our goalkeeper last season, but we sold him to them. Duganzic is still there. Kostake. Kite. Florin Stefan. Eman, I don't know. Yeah, they st they still have a very good team. Oh, okay. So your family doctor is the doctor of the team of Rapid Bucharest. Nice. <laughs> nice. I hope he does a good job. <laughs> Yeah, we have to criticize this kid. He's too young and too much uh, pressure for him playing uh, at this level. As I told you, is uh, very, very far off our level. Like his skills are really low, but we needed a left back, like a deep, deep backup for this position. Oh, so nice. So he started with them when he, they when he um, when they were in the fourth division. Okay. Yep. 
that is a uh, he's a very uh, faithful servant of the club I guess right this doctor of yours and what team are you managing in the uh, in FM 23 yes I have Krajan I have Krajan and I signed him for free because uh, he got released he is pretty good he is pretty good and he's uh, he can play um, many positions see like he was uh, playing for Las Palmas after Arsenal released him and then uh, Las Palmas he played for Las Palmas 11 games and he scored one goal in La Liga before we signed him oh you don't play FM okay I thought you do so yeah we have a decent team for for uh, for this season hopefully we're gonna be able to get to the group stage of Champions League to get a lot of money because getting money will allow us to to get uh, better players Flavio Stoikan wins the head coach of the month. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, Rapid for some reason Rapid has some money in my safe here so uh, like I like I told you they bought my uh, my goalie the goalie that um, that I had last season I sold him uh, probably 250,000 or 500,000 I gotta double check Susic and uh, yeah they have money and they have some good uh, regions I used to loan them um because they, they loan you the, the their young players for free. You don't have to pay anything. So let me go to transfers, history, last season. Okay, I think it's two seasons ago. Oh, Susak, not Susi. Susak, 275 total. Yeah, Shuku has money, definitely. But in real life, they need to invest more if they if they want to win the league. Because Chefere Cluj is just dominating. We're moving forward. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, when they were in high school, Shuku. Okay. So who? So Shuku used to play handball in in high school. <laughs> nice. That's why he likes sports, I guess. But I'm surprised he decided to invest money at Rapid because he's doing like, I don't know, his business is. Uh, I forgot what kind of business he has, but he has a big business in Romania. Six million in six months, damn. Furniture, right. Big uh, furniture firm in Romania and he invested six million already. This is not bad. Mob expert, yes, I remember now. Thank you for for uh, yeah, reminding me. 
Let's see the draw now for the next round in the Champions League. If we beat up well, we will um, face our next uh, opponent in the fourth qualifying round, which is the playoff. Let's see. Start draw. Basel versus Shakhtar or Astana. Celtic or Hajduk versus Bodo Glimt. Slovan or Maccabi versus Copenhagen. Yes, his son uh, plays. I know this. His son plays for a rapid youth team. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this helped Rapid to um, to get a guy that will actually pump money. This is good. I like Rapid. I'm a Poly Mishara fan too. So they uh, the uh, the fans are <coughs> their fans are friends, if I can say that. <laughs> okay. Let's see next. Kishvarda or Red Star? Ooh. I hope Kishvarda. I don't. I don't want Red Star in the playoff. If we if we are gonna face Red Star in the playoff, I think we're gonna get knocked out. So I'm confident we will beat up well, but not Red Star. This is end of the road for us if we play against Red Star. I remember Red Star. Uh, beat the shit out of uh, Chefere Cluj in real life and sorry for the language but uh, yeah so I know they always always have good players good good young prox uh, prospects so we'll be really unlucky if um, if we're gonna have to play against them so yeah let's uh, advance to the end this is the draw <laughs> yeah, nice. Shuku is a Stiawa fan. Oh, okay. So he used to get kicked in the face and then he would start playing better, huh? Okay. Nice. <laughs> Funny story, man. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna follow Rapid in real life and see where they can get. Uh, they have young prospects. They have young young players. And Shuko will probably buy some more if because um, I don't know if he's gonna stay um, for for long at the club. You know how these Romanian investors are like when they get bored or like they don't make money or they fight against each other because from what I know Rapid has more than one uh, one chairman. They're like three. We're very close, very close to play against Upwell. Two? Okay, Shuk and Angelescu. Okay. Yes, yes, you're right. Yeah, two. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Faru, I guess. Faru has um, investors too. Faru has Marika. And um, who else is at Faru? I know it's Haji, that's the chairman, but Far uh, Faru has Marika and another guy. So who is first? Is Shuku or Angelescu? He's, who is, has the majority of the package? We're 
gonna line up the first 11 here 50 each okay that's uh that's good i mean as long as they're not gonna argue and you know decide to split um rapid has a bright future Almost, almost done here, guys. Uh, McGregor in. This, uh, in Bastage, Valencia in. Gianfranco Ruge in. Tershak, Dijan, Peke, Duma, Kitan. And Turnovan will start. This is our starting 11 for the game against Apoel Eduard Luca okay Eduard Luca will sub and Boltario is our starter everybody is rested and ready uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a tough tough game but we need we need um, we need to qualify in the next round that will give us the opportunity 100% to play at least in the Europa League next season, Europa League group stage. Pavel Brothers. Well, some people, they're not willing to put their own money into football. As you know, in Romania, if you invest, you, you have a huge chance to lose all your money. So I guess Shuku, whatever money he has and whatever money he is investing at Rapid, he's he is willing to lose that money. He knows that he might not get it back. You know, it's like a roulette type of uh, deal. It just you never know what's gonna happen. So for his sons, okay. I don't know. It's uh, it's tricky when you have uh, too many investors. If you remember Dinamo, <clears throat> there were too many. Dinamo Bucharest had like I don't know four or five. So each one of them, they see football in different ways. I hope Rapid will manage to you know to find the right way to to get um, to evolve and get get to um, you know the European European uh, competitions this is what they they need to do in order to get uh, money they have a beautiful beautiful state uh, stadium <clears throat> Sophia Grace thank you for following I'm good I'm just uh, enjoying playing football manager today thank you for joining the channel Uh, my stream is going pretty well thank you we're almost two hours in how are you today yeah I think Shuk and Angelescu so far they're doing a good job and there's no issues between them few more continues and we are we are gonna play up well that's good Sofia are you playing football manager too
and David, yes, I know. They are uh, rapid, almost made it. With a little more luck, maybe next season. That's good, Sofia. I think we can put one more player in. Yes. Uh, Yorga. But we have to take Zivkovic out and we will. Sorry, man. You're out. Sophia, I'm streaming every other day. But this, uh, this week, because... Um, because of the holiday, holiday, sorry, I streamed um, every day, like for four days uh, straight. But usually I stream every other day. My wife, uh, <laughs> my wife doesn't like me to play the game, so I'm streaming just when she's at work. And David, yes, I know they don't have unlimited money, and definitely they need to be wise, otherwise. Uh, <laughs> They're gonna lose everything, and um, I, as we saw in Romanian first league, uh, teams that they have a few uh, few millions, they spend uh, they spend the money, and then they uh, the owners are retiring, and you know they get uh, the teams are gonna get um, pretty much um, relegated. Uh, Sofia, I'm not interested right now in I'm just starting my stream, uh, you know, my stream channel. I just started it. So maybe in the future I will be interested, but not for now. Thank you for offering. <laughs> exactly, David. We have money, but not to waste. That guy is successful in his business. So if he can implement his model to, to Rapid, then definitely they will be able to um to be uh to to become a great team in Romania and probably win the league all right we're ready let's uh let's see if we can uh can win big here in uh in the first uh leg of the tie and then uh secure the qualifier stream today for another hour um, we are already two hours in and I'm planning to do like a three hour stream I can't do more than that because my back is killing me and yeah I have some stuff to do later on like every day so one more hour hopefully we can pass get past um, up well and win uh, one more game in the league Uh, David, I like Mutu. I mean, he's not a great coach, but he's a good coach. And you just need to give him a little time. Like, you can't just switch coaches every every season and expect to have like a like a good run. You need to let him let him um, to be in charge for at least two seasons to make a decision. I think he's a young coach, decent coach, and. He uh, with a little more money, I think he can he can uh, win the league. If they if they, if they uh, make some some good transfers, because free agents and loans are not enough to win the league in Romania. <clears throat> and we are ready. We have tired players on the. On the bench, but I think, uh, uh, yeah, everything is set up. Yeah, I agree. I agree that um, 
he can do a better job but uh, it's still early david it's still early <clears throat> and they're um they're in they're very close to the the first uh, spots in the league it's still early i think they can still they can uh, they can still win the league if uh, they're bringing some some good uh, good players uh, in the transfer window Oh, so he's not doing uh, good training sessions. Okay, Muto is not a good coach because of the training sessions. Okay. What kind of training sessions he's, uh, he's doing? And we're ready, guys. We're facing up well at Petrosciani at Petalibardi Stadium. Yeah, I know <laughs> Sapunaro is the daddy <laughs> in the locker room. But I'm surprised they don't listen to Mutu. I think um, that's not Mutu's fault. I think it's their physio's fault. The physio and uh, um, fitness coach. I don't know who is their fitness coach, but Mutu is more. He's like a tactician. He's in charge only with the tactics. I think not. Um, He's setting up the training schedules and all that, yes, but uh, I think the physio and the fitness coach, they have to take the blame for that and one nothing. Yon uh, scores the first goal very early in the game, seven minutes, and we are one up against Upwell. I told you guys, I am confident that we uh, are going to go through this round also. Well, it's really important to, to warm up before every every game, every training session. And that's a huge mistake if uh, they let the players not uh, get a proper warm up. This is beyond me. I don't think it's a... This is not a professional club then. <laughs> Valencia finds, uh, finds Ruge in the middle, Zabuk, uh, Zabukovnik. Yon passing to Mamula, Mamila, sorry, Mamila and 2 nothing. It's too easy, it's too easy. I knew it, I knew this is gonna get stupid at some point. I checked their roster, guys, and Apoel is um, not having not having good players. Uh, I don't know how they, they got to this uh, stage. Because uh, they have poor quality uh, roster. Mamila, nice finish there. He scores on a regular basis right now. Two nothing, and uh, definitely right now we are in a very good position of qualifying with no no problems into the playoff of the Champions League. And that's going to be the big game. Uh, that's going to be the decider if we can get uh, the 40 million that we desperately need to improve this club. <clears throat> and... Uh, Sorry for the OBS that does the same, the same thing. Restarts again. Ooh.
classmate kneecap got displaced because he did not get warmed up. Damn, that is a horrible injury, David. And you can get injured like that um, with or without the uh, the warm up. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's weird. They should uh, they should upgrade their coaches. Oh, three nothing, Mamila. Three nothing. This uh, this qualifying round is already um, decided. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry for this guy, David. Yeah, it's a it's a horrible injury, and. Uh, they need to upgrade their staff. Yeah, it's uncalled for, you know. But you know this kind of injuries can happen um, to you know even with the best coaches, even with the best fitness or physios. It just it can be random too. You can't put the blame only on other people. Maybe it was just like a unlucky situation. Yeah, I used to play. I used to play for for Gio Petrosciani uh, youth system and in lower divisions when um, when I was in Romania. Right now I'm not living there, so I used to play pro and I always always uh, train well and warmed up very well. I never had like major major injuries. My only thing was the hamstrings. I had like um, tons of uh, hamstring injuries. And for nothing now. Beautiful, beautiful performance by the team. I uh, didn't expect we're gonna be so dominant, but yeah. It's uh it's the best scenario here for us. Uh, we're gonna go into the next round, or um, first we're gonna go to the next um, next game, the second leg of this round uh, with uh, the second team because uh, we need two, <laughs> and it's five. Besujen uh, with the fifth goal before the halftime. What a dominant uh, dominant win! So I was saying that right now. Um, we're gonna play our backups in the returning leg because we need fit players for the league game. But what a beautiful goal, goal there. Manta with the cross and 5 nothing. Mamila! Blocked shot there inside the penalty box. Uh, what do you mean, David? Maybe you can match Rapid Gazmetan from last year. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that game, yes. Yes. Well, we, we're hoping for. And it's uh, five, and it's, uh, it's before halftime, so... It can happen. I'm planning to, to keep the same, uh, the same team in the second half also. Oh, definitely could have been more than eight. Yes, I remember. I actually I watched the first half, and I had a bet on uh, on that game, 
and I didn't pay attention too much of the details. I had a bet that Rapid will score. Uh, I mean, the game will uh, have less than uh, than uh, than uh, 4.5 goals, and I <laughs> I lost that bet. Okay, let's start the second half. Yeah, it was a it was a good game, but uh, Gazmetan played a lot of kids, so. But still, it's still, it's still something to win eight nothing. And Rapid had a good playoff, yes. Uh, playoff, not no playout, not playoff. No, I don't bet a lot, but uh, I bet enough money so I can get angry. You know, if I lose, I don't bet a lot. I have a betting system that uh, you know, like I have a budget. And a system that allows me to make steady, uh, steady progress each month. You know, I bet four games a day, and um, I have a betting unit size. You know, and at the end of the month, you draw the line, see where you're at, and you just uh, re. re uh, let's see here. 6-0 um, and yeah if, after each month you uh, readjust your uh, your unit size yeah I, I love you Lier. I um I had a save with Millwall in FM and I loaned Ilya for one season he was the best player in the team so yeah definitely Rapid can loan him back uh, I, I don't think he's playing at this right now. He's on the bench, or not even on the bench. David, I love the World Cup. I'm a Messi fan, so it was a dream come true for for him, for Argentina. I think everybody loves um, Messi. I mean, I know people are loving Ronaldo too, but I think everybody uh, were happy for Messi. <laughs> you don't like Messi. Oh, you did? Oh, you're talking about Ilya. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Sorry. And they got one, one back. Six-one. It's still over. They're trying. We're trying here to, to come back, but it's not enough. <clears throat> yeah, Ilya is a very, very uh, good player, young talent, and I'm pretty sure, at some point, he is gonna find his form. Usually it happens with young young players, but he showed quality in Romania. You're a Ronaldo fan, yes, yeah. Like as you can see, they're both very close um, uh, players. Not the same position in the field, but the quality is unbelievable. Bo both world class uh, players, the best players, both of them in history. I don't think. Anybody will uh, match their their uh, their careers. Seventy minutes. Let's score one more and then I'll make some subs. Manta. Yeah, he is. Uh, he is unbelievable. He had a crazy World Cup. Me too. I don't like France at all. I like some of their players, but I don't like their style. I don't like... Uh, they're too cocky. They're too like, oh, we're better than everyone. We deserve everything. No, you're not. You know. they, uh, they thought they're going to win it. 
Uh, I don't like Mbappe's attitude. He's a great player, but his attitude is not not good. Very good player Mbappe. A very good player. I agree with you, but his attitude. Okay, one more highlight and I'm going to make some subs. What did he say about Romania? And Yon! Yes! Zalazar with the beautiful cross and Yon scores the seventh goal. Pure, pure domination. Let's see the replay here. Pure domination in Zalazar with the perfect cross there and of course a header from Yon. And we scored a seventh goal. Now I'm gonna make some quick changes because we have players um, tired. Let's put um, Luca in. Gianfranco Ruge um, Tursha will replace him. Four goals from Mamila this game. Unbelievable. He said that he missed that penalty because his grandfather died and caused a Romanian curse. What? Really? He's insane. <laughs> A Romanian cursed him. <laughs> I mean, you can miss a penalty regardless, man. Like, penalties are just lottery. And it's true, yeah. But you can miss a penalty. Even if you're the top, like Messi, how many how many Messi missed? Even in this World Cup, he missed. So yeah, we'll put Pekka in. That's an excuse, you know. Three, we'll put Gitan, we'll replace Manta, and Duma will replace Besuijen. We'll, we'll use all our changes. Uh, no, I don't. Um, I don't know Bucharest. I uh, I'm from Petroșani, from Romania. I uh, went to college in Timișoara and played for some lower lower division uh, teams there. I haven't been to Bucharest too many times. I just uh, traveled uh, from the train station there in Bucharest, and I went to embassy in Bucharest. But I never never like you know saw the city. I agree with your grandfather, yes, David. It's easy to find excuses. It's really easy. Luca, we're playing him as a left wing back also um, he can play a central defender as we actually central defender is his natural position but we play him as a wing back because uh, we don't have anybody on the bench as a backup so he will uh, he will play this game on this position Yeah, they always uh, find something bad about Romanians. That's why I hate French, man. I hate... It's not that I hate French people. I just hate uh, their attitude uh, towards Romanians. Like, we're not gypsies. We're not, you know what I mean? We're, we're not thieves. We're not... Don't generalize. But uh, this is a different discussion. I really don't want to get into that.
Yeah. <laughs> Ferentari. Yeah, it would not be good for them. Seven one win at home. And uh, definitely right now we have to focus uh, for the playoff of the Champions League because this tie is already over. We're going to play the play the backups in the second leg of this tie. 7-1 win against Apoel uh, Nicosia from Cyprus. Uh, let's praise Ion for a crazy game. You are superb. Let's praise Mamila for his four goals scored in this tie. Unbelievable player. Uh, he will improve a lot, this, uh, this kid. Germany, Brazil, 7-1, exactly. <laughs> that was a crazy game, man. Like, it was 5-0 uh, in the 25th minute. Yeah. How old are you? First World Cup I ever watched. How old are you, David? Downcast. All right. If you believe that you can do better. What happened at halftime? <laughs> Next game in our um, league is against Mioven. Mioven is uh, currently first, surprisingly. They sit first in the league 15 turning 16 in February you're young man <clears throat> you're very young so yeah um, definitely that was a crazy crazy game between Germany and Brazil Germany took advantage of Brazil because um, they uh, had a low morale because of Neymar Neymar got injured against Colombia the game previous uh, previous of the semi-finals and um, they got smashed 7-1 so that was a historic loss for them embarrassing loss I am 39 David 39 <laughs> I watched um, I was 11 years old when uh, Romania played uh, in the uh, USA World Cup I was 11 years old. I um, I watched the game, all the games, and especially that game against Sweden when we uh, when we got knocked out in the uh, quarterfinals of the World Cup. Well, it was so painful to watch. Germany coach told the players to go slow, but the guy who scored a double second half was at <laughs> yeah I know, surely. Yes, I know the story. Shorle was um, was in the bathroom. He didn't hear that the coach told told them to just you know take it slow because it's it's over already. It's embarrassing for Brazil. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. It's really funny, man. Just one second here. 
Yeah, man. Prunia. Prunia cost us the World Cup, but he had a um, he had a very good um, very good game against uh, Argentina, Prunia. So you can't you can't say anything about him. I watched um you drew to Argentina. No, we won against Argentina. Sweden uh beat four nothing in the uh yeah we won against Argentina three two and then we play Sweden we lost on penalties and then Sweden beat Bulgaria in the semi-finals in the uh sorry in the uh in the the the, um, the games for the third place because they got knocked out by uh by Brazil one nothing in the semi-finals no we won 3-2 Just one second, guys. I need to do some settings here really quick. Yeah, Brazil um, Brazil um, knocked them out in the semifinals and then Sweden plays Bulgaria for the third place and they beat Bulgaria for nothing. Oh, okay. I guess I'll do it later. I want to do some things... Um, with the alerts, I don't get alerts on. Uh, I don't get alerts when somebody's following or subscribing, or you know, I don't know why. <sighs> yes, David, we used to have very good players, talented players. They were playing for the best clubs in Europe, and now our football is just garbage. Yes, I remember. I mean, I was not alive when um, when Romania was uh, World Cup champions in handball. I was, yeah, that was in the I don't know 60s. I forgot, but yeah, we used to have very good, talented um, athletes. Now. Everything is garbage, like I said. Yes, corruption. We, we need to upgrade on everything in, in, in Romania. So guys, uh, we will play the game against Mioveni. And then um, we'll end the stream because it's already close uh, close to uh, one o'clock here Chicago time and I have to um, I have to end the stream and do some stuff around the house so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it and then we will come back with another stream um, what date is today today is Tuesday we will come back um, Friday and we will stream Friday saturday and sunday three days in a row again and we will continue the save the the road to champions league history and this uh, season so far we are doing well and we are very close to 
the Champions League group stage, but not in this stream, guys. I can't, can't. I would love to continue and play uh, the game, remaining games, and see if we can get in, get to the uh, group stage. But we'll do it next time. In '64, Rapid won the Champions League at Womanham. Yes, impressive. I didn't know that, but yeah, I know we have a very good. Uh, we had a very good. Um, Men national team uh, handball. Yeah. Uh, this is the second Champions League um, adventure for us. We uh, we failed to qualify in the group stage last season. We uh, got knocked out in the second round, and this season we're trying to to do it again and hopefully at least go for the Europa League if we get knocked out in the playoff uh, of the Champions League. Gior has vice champions. Yes. Yeah, we have great history, David. Great history, and today we have nothing. We have, Today we're just uh, watching TV and see other people doing great things, you know. Yes. The fans were always, always great fans, especially back in the 90s and the 80s. Now, like, if you watch games in, in uh, the first league in Romania, you see, like, empty stadiums. It's uh, really an ugly, ugly picture, you know. So, Raulion got injured for almost eight days. Therefore, we're gonna play Peke as his replacement. I'm gonna put back on the bench some of the uh, players we took out of the Europa League roster. Yeah, yeah, I saw that uh, the World Cup, the Japanese, actually, <clears throat> are very nice. They're cleaning after themselves all the time. This is an example for all the fans in the world, you know. Definitely. Uh, let me see here. Should we play the starters or... Yeah, we're going to play the starters for this game. And... Uh, for the upwell, we're gonna play the subs because it's already 7-1. Nothing can uh, can stop us from uh, from qualifying into the playoff. Yeah, yeah. Romania, Romania used to be great on on handball. Used to be great on football. We won the Champions League with Steaua. Romania used to have very very talented athletes it's sad that today we're on this big big downfall Rafi Guitan gonna be replaced by Nedelko Nguni Nguni is a striker and will hmm. will not be even on the bench it's okay we'll play the starters If we beat Vio Mioven this game, we will uh, go on the first place in the league. It's just a matter of time until um, we're going to be again the league leaders. We're trying to be Juventus of Romania, <laughs> like I said in the other, in the other streams. 
we have the same colors, same jersey style, um, and hopefully in the future we'll be able to match their uh, their uh, Champions League runs and uh, their trophies. Testament Bucharest, yeah. Testament Bucharest, the the girls uh, handball team, yeah. I know they won it like four or five years ago. Why not? I mean, anything can happen if you are dedicated and if you put the, the work in, you know. It's not impossible. Andre Yorga. Six years ago, okay. See, you know better than me. You play the game. <laughs> 2016, man, time is flying. I know my mom. My mom used to watch a lot of handball. She she loves the game. She was a teacher, like a physical education teacher. So she loves handball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a great achievement for for Chesame Bucharest. Bucharest. Gritan dobre. All right, we're ready to play the game. Last game of the stream, guys. Uh, Mioven will, will uh, be our opponent. Let's get a win here and end the stream on a positive note. Oh, okay. You didn't see the last uh, seven meter shootout. Okay. <laughs> I, I honestly forgot how the game ended, but it pretty much, no, it was dramatic, you know. Let's start, guys. Jules Petrosiani against Mioveni, current league leaders of the Romanian First League. It was a penalty shootout, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy for for uh, Bucharest, for Tseseme Bucharest, because uh, we needed uh, a team to win the Champions League. They invested a lot of money, from what I know. They had uh, so many good players. Yeah. I remember uh, Patricia... Patricia Vizitiu played for uh, Ceseme Bucharest um, and uh, she she is from Petroșan from my city uh, and we are family friends so her dad used to play uh, used to play football with my dad so she she was a Romanian national team player for a few years Patricia Vizitiu Besuijan on the left already. We are starting to put the pressure on Mioven. Ten minutes in. Ah. Yeah, yeah. She is a good player. I'm, I don't know where she's playing right now. I think she plays for Craiova in the first league of Romania. But she used to play for Chesame Bucharest and... Um, uh, she's the she's uh, best friends with uh, Cristina Neagu. Mana Bogdan, um, I don't know who she is because I pretty much um, stopped following um, handball since I left Romania in 2005. So I don't know tennis player. Okay, so yeah, I don't know who she is, but yeah, that's nice if um, your dad knows her. Oh, knows her dad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Manta. What position are you playing uh, in your team? 
Where am I? I... You said you play handball. What position are you playing? We're trying to find uh, the first goal here in the game. Toma kicks the ball far away. Zalazar fails to keep the possession and now Milven is trying to build from the back. And then Bobal takes a shot over the post, but I don't like what I'm seeing here. We're struggling at home with Milven. I have to demand more from the team. We need a win here. We can't afford to drop points with Milven at home. Keeping in mind that uh, our position uh, right now in the game is as favorites. And uh, Milven is failing to, to score here. Manta is having a bad game, 6.4. Pivot, okay. <clears throat> so pretty much you are the brain of the team, right? <laughs> Besui Jen cuts inside and tries to switch the ball. He loses the ball there and we need to start attacking here. This is an unacceptable. The muscle. Oh, okay, not the brain. Yeah, who's the brain? Inter? The Inter? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have to kind of like... And finally, the region scores. The region finishes it. Rudge, McGregor, McGregor finds him with a beautiful shot through their defense and Besuijen with a nice tap in. And uh, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start to attack. I have a weird feeling that uh, Milven can come back from this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know these players. Like I said, I left the country in 2005, so I kind of... I don't know who is Pinta. But I'm pretty sure your position in the game is, um, is hard. And you really need to train and do the best uh, to, to score goals or to help your team score goals. We have two yellow cards already. We have to take care of that. Ease of tackles. Quanta. Ease of tackles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I believe you, man. My position in the game when I was playing, uh, it was striker. But um, I'm pretty tall, so I was more like a penalty box striker. Like I did, I was not fast. I was just there for the headers, for corners, free kicks. So I was always trying to, you know, fight with the defenders and try to like get an advantage. But it was hard. So yeah, pretty much probably you're you're dealing with the same stuff. Yeah, your dad has high expectation, of course, of course. The same with my dad. My dad was a coach and a player also, so he was my coach when I was a kid. So yeah, he always had high expectation and I'm pretty sure your dad has the same. Oh, you play for Dynamo and Rapid, okay. That's good. Well, good luck to you in your career, man. You um, keep training, keep fighting, you know, and don't uh, 
don't lose hope even when you have better uh, if, even when you have bad games or like bad period of um, losses or like you don't train well or you're you know keep your confidence up and you will succeed keep working you're young so you have all your future ahead of you McGregor Manta Oh, okay, so a Dynamo is free, okay. But it's hard to get into Rapid's team, probably, right? Okay, so we have uh, Manta, who is having a bad game. We're going to play Nadelko. He's going to play his first game of the season. And then Mamila is having a bad game, but we will keep him on. Hopefully, he's going to find the goal. Zalazar um, will put Luca in and Yorga maybe no will uh, Khan will uh, replace Valencia too Mm-hmm. Yeah, well... Okay. Like I said, man, good luck with your, your, your career, you know, keep working hard. That's the secret. Nadelku and almost 64 minutes. We need one more goal to just um, secure the, the three points. Every time when you just have one nothing lead, it's always a risk to get um, equalized. Well, you know, you might play in the future. Don't don't lose hope. Anything can change. Like when I remember when I was playing. Uh, football when I was young I uh, had some tryouts at um, Fecharjish when I was 13 years old and they rejected me me and another five uh, five players from Jiul they rejected me and then you know I continued playing so you just keep moving forward it doesn't matter so you might you might get to play for Rapid in the future you never know as a pro you never know man Mm -hmm. he, your dad doesn't like football okay well you never know when you when you're gonna get a little older maybe you're gonna make your own decisions you know and what a goal oh my god Roddy McGregor with a screamer and it's 2 nothing now game over this is the response I wanted from the team. Look at this goal. Pass from Besujan and McGregor with a curved shot. Post and in the net. Unbelievable goal. We're right now we are first in the league. But this uh, this goal probably is the best goal of the the season so far. Jeez. Oh, you're not thinking to go pro. Okay. Well, uh, whatever you, uh, whatever you choose, um, it matters to you know to have fun and be passionate about it. You know, and if you like it, keep keep doing it. You know, keep doing it. The switch and passing to Mamila, Mamila, and uh, I told you he will score, but it's an offside, I think. Let me double check here. VAR. Mm -hmm. 
and it's a goal. It's a goal, it's 3 0. It was close to being an offside, but Mamila, having a bad game until this moment, manages to, to score. And right now, it's 3 0, and the game is finally, finally over. Three points in the bag. Your dad was a national champion. Okay. Yes. Um, yes, of course, man. You can become a champion like you just have to you know keep working hard i know it's like uh it's easy to say and just everybody's saying the same thing like oh keep working hard do the do the what the work put put in the work but still you know it's easier to say than than to be done but whatever you choose to do just you know put the work and never give up my mistake when I was playing just like I gave up uh, playing pro football when I was 22 I decided to to leave uh, uh, Romania and come here to the States so as you know soccer or football here is not not big so pretty much that was my uh, that was the end of my career <laughs> your ex old rugby coach told you that a job can be stealed yeah <laughs> well yeah but it's not gonna be in Chicago we're not gonna have games in Chicago I'm from Chicago here so they're gonna have games all over the other big cities not in Chicago and they have games in Canada Mexico so all right, we won the game in style, dominating fashion. Uh, everybody is happy. Everybody's playing great. We are gonna play Apoel in the returning leg next um, next game, which uh, I'm probably gonna play it on my own until Friday. Friday, I don't know um, where we're gonna pick it up from, but um, definitely we are on the right track and. Um, let me do the press conference really quick. Top, top performance by the players. Yeah, in the future they might, but... Um, uh, probably uh, I'm gonna go if Messi is gonna play is because he's gonna sign with Inter Miami from what I heard so if Messi is gonna play in Chicago here I'm gonna go and watch him I never saw Messi in real life playing so I'm planning to do that Chicago Fire are gonna play Inter Miami in the MLS so if Messi signs I will go and watch him yes very expensive tickets definitely Definitely. Let's appraise McGregor for that screamer also. We had a three hour, over three hour stream, guys. Uh, the music is over. <laughs> we have to play a little more music here until we end the stream. Uh, yep, let's double check here the league standings. So, after this win, we are first. The only team that can... Uh, there are actually two teams that can match our points. Universitatea Craiova and Cefere Cluj. So um, we are going to end the stream here, guys. Thank you for watching. David, thank you for following and thank you for the nice chat today. Sophia, thank you for following. Dub, 
Schnooter or Dub Schooter. Uh, thank you for following. And um, I hope you enjoyed the stream. And I hope you will be back um, next time. It's gonna be on Friday. I'm planning to stream. Um, I am planning to stream on Friday morning Chicago time, probably around nine. Yeah, I enjoyed the uh, I enjoyed the chat, uh, David. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be around nine o'clock in the morning Chicago time. So I don't know. In Romania, it's gonna be probably five p.m. I don't know. Uh, it will be nice if you can join. If not, uh, whenever you have time, no problem. I will be here uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, we will uh, pick it up from uh, from where we left it and try to get into the Champions League group stage. If not, hopefully Europa League. If you if you get to uh, Europa League, you get six million, and Champions League you get almost forty million. So hopefully it's gonna be this time this year we're gonna qualify for Champions League. Okay, David, I'll see you then. Uh, I'll see you Friday then. And we'll uh, chat some more. Thank you guys uh, for watching. I will uh, see you on Friday. Take care. Bye-bye.